It is that time of the week here once again as we delve into the meta in our Friday Night Meta series here on the channel. Thank you for tuning in as always. If you enjoy, make sure to like and subscribe. On top of that, if you do got a question, if you got a comment, let me know because I'd love to hear from you. And feel free to join us in the Discord server, my friends. All right, where we break things down across each of the formats, best of one and best of three, we are roughly three quarters ish of the way through the month here of march i can't believe it that is crazy and now we're going to be soon getting the spoilers for thunder junction my friends so let's dive into what's happening here today all right so first and foremost we got standard best of one here we got boros convoke reclaiming the crown we'll talk about that here in a second mono red aggro slays the enchantment zorus control mono black aggro mono blue tempo orzhov malia and golgari midrange you're on the right, the top two less, playing that 35% in the meta. You are going to hit them if you are playing, that is for sure. Here we go in terms of our popularity over time. Here you can see that mono red really making that switch there. However, again, like I said, Boros Convoke making the switch as well, mainly this week, which is kind of nice to see. Very, very tight though. Um, nonetheless, we do kind of see some back and forth between Slesnia and uh, Orzov there, a little bit of up and down elsewhere in the meta as well, which is nice to see, but Golgari has certainly been strengthening, so something for us to continue to keep an eye on um, and what's happening there. Let's go ahead and check out Mythic. Here we do have some changes, though. So you can see Azor's control actually at the top, Boros Convoke, Jeskai control in there as well, Rakdos Aggro in there too. Additionally, my friends, we got Orzov super friends. So a lot of different things happening there for us in the mythic scene, which is a big switch relative to probably a lot of things that we've seen before in the past. Again, one of the main reasons why we like to look at this and here again, in terms of what's happening. So that is standard best of one for you. Let's see what's going on in best of three here today. Boros Convoke is also the king of best of three. Um, here we got five color domain, Golgari midrange, Esper midrange, Dimmer midrange, four color domain, mono red aggro, Azor's control. Here on the right, heavy, heavy for the top five lists. As you can see, taking 50% of that meta, you are going to hit those ones. Um, big one coming up here is that five color domain. As you can see, everything else kind of trending sideways, actually, um, when you see it from that. But if you look at the beginning of when this was released, lots of that stuff is still trending up. And then here again, win rate over time. Last week, we had that five color domain. Here we do have that Boros Convoke popping back in, being fairly consistent. Everything else kind of revolving around that as well. Now, if we go to Mythic, is it going to be like standard best of one? Not too much. We just see some things move around. Um, however, again, Boros Convoke still at the top of the list. We do see a little bit more of a bias in terms of the top three instead of top five of play as well and what's happening right there for standard best of three. All right, so now we're going to check out Explorer here. At the top, we do have Abzan, Amalia here for Explorer. We also have Zorus Control, Slesnia Angels, Rakdos Vampires, Mono Red Aggro, Boros Heroic, Mono Green Devotion, Is It Phoenix. Now here on the right, really the top two played as being Rakdos Vampires and Is It Phoenix. And again, this is at the totality um, between Bronze and Mythic. Now here you can see we do see Rakdos Vampires falling. We do start to see Is It Phoenix climbing. Um, along with some other stuff in the meta. And then here, that win rate over time. Abs and Amalia doing really, really well here, um, particularly in the last week, as you can see as well. Now, if we drill into Mythic, here's what we got going on there. Nothing. None of you really playing best of one in Explorer or Mythic. All right, let's go ahead and check out best of three. Here in best of three, we do have Abs and Amalia there as well. Boros Convoke, Rakdos Vampires, Monocreen Devotion, Rakdos Midrange. Mono Black Waste Knot, Is It Phoenix, Azor's Control here on the right, dominated by Rakdos Vampires, followed by Is It Phoenix. And again, this is at the full range. We got Vampires falling off. Similar here, we see Is It Phoenix climbing. Everything else kind of going sideways. Abzan Amalia popping right there towards the end, certainly doing much better over the course of probably the month. Um, and then as you can see there for everything else, let's see what's happening in Mythic though. Mythic, we do have some play going on with Boros Convoke, Abzan Amalia, Rakdos Vampires, Rakdos Midrange, and is it Phoenix? So that is Explorer, my friends, at best of three. Let's go all the way back to best of one and check out what's happening in Alchemy. 
This week in alchemy, we got Naya Convoke there at the top. Esper Control, Mono Red Aggro, Gruel Dinosaurs, Azor Soldiers, Gruel Burn, Orzhov Midrange, Mono Black Midrange here on the right. You can see um, really heavily played and biased towards that Mono Red Aggro. We do have Naya Convoke in there, Gruel Burn, Esper Control, everything else a little less than that in terms of that balance. Here we go with that popularity over time. We did have that alchemy, Murders at uh Karlov release there um, a little bit right around two weeks ago now at this point. Um, so now you're starting to see a little bit more consistency in the meta, but you do see that Naya Convoke pulling in very, very well there um, in terms of what's happening. Let's drill into Mythic here at Mythic. Not enough in best of one of alchemy. All right, let's move over to best of three. What's going on here? Here we got a plethora of stuff, mainly Boros Convoke and Esper Midrange, as you can see with some of those changes happening. Uh, always, always happens there. And again, this is best of three. Let's look at Mythic, mm -mm -mm, not enough. All right, so let's take a look at Historic now. Historic here for best of one does have Dimmer Ninjas at the top. We got Is It Wizards, Mono White Life Gain, Azor's Control, Mono Green Elves, Mono Green Devotion, Slesnia Squirrel Twin, and Mono Red Aggro. Here on the right, dominated by Wizards. We do have two green lists behind that, um, and then everything else. And here you can see that as well with the release of Alchemy. Again, like I said, about two weeks ago. Um, and you can see how everything is trending. And here, Dimmer Ninja is doing very well. And is it Wizards touching it? To not quite overcome that list, though. Nonetheless, everything else kind of trending back down there, except for that Mono White Life Gain. All right, let's go ahead and see what's happening in Mythic here. Mythic, it is all but Dimmer Ninjas, my friends. All right, so that is Historic Best of One. Best of Three, here's what we see. Is it Wizards, Abs, and Yagmoth? And mono green devotion, my friends. And if we do go to mythic, let's see, nothing there. So we'll go all the way back, and there you can see how things are trending very close between that. Is it wizards and abs and yagmoth? All right. So now it's time for timeless, my friends. In best of one, we do have five color domain, followed by four color show and tell, mono green titan, Rakdos burn, Rakdos breach, five color banana, mono black vampires. Mono Black Control, and then here on the right, you see that four color show and tell, five color domain, and then everything else here in terms of that popularity. There we go with that five color domain right at the top. And looking nice nonetheless. Let's see what's going on at Mythic here at Mythic. No, not enough in best of one of Mythic either. How about best of three? What do we have here? Here we got five color domain, four color Yagmoth, four uh, John Midrange, Rakdos Burn. Four color show and tell, Grixis Shadow, Mono Green Titan, five color Winata. Here again, top three, four color show and tell being the key one. And boom, huge lift off over the last week um, for show and tell. However, five color domain lift off as well in terms of that win rate relative to everything else. So pretty interesting there. Let's go ahead and see what's happening at Mythic. And no, not enough there. Um, in terms of the volume. All right, so that is Timeless, and it is now time for our Historic Brawl, my friends. Here in Brawl, we do have Tajik Legion's Valor at the very top. That is a big change. We got Mythweaver, Pog, Voja, the First Sliver, Rusko, Itali, Golos, and Atroxa. So a little bit different here. Again, that 1.5% gets you in. Tajik not at the bottom, which is interesting. Mythweaver being one of the more popular ones. And then here you can see how everything's going there. Lelia, the Blade Reforged, doing very well until Alchemy came out um, in terms of what's being played. Again, very consistent there for the Mythweaver. And then here you see that Tajik popping off there post-Alchemy Murders um, uh, at Manor for the Alchemy release. And then here you go. Very, very interesting. Now, if we do plot Raghavan, oh, Tajik's still doing better than Raghavan, except it did get past there towards the end. So we always like to kind of check in on the good old Raghavan. All right, so that, my friends, is all she wrote here for this week, giving us another week in Friday Night Meta and a changing meta, as always, when it comes to Magic the Gathering. With that, if you still got a question, if you got a comment, certainly let me know because I love to hear from you and feel free to join us in the Discord server. Thank you, my friends, for tuning in today. I appreciate your support. Thank you for the likes and the subs as we continue to grow this amazing community here. On top of that, um, thank you to all of our members. I appreciate that support. It's a nice way to interact. On top of that, oh, again, we got affiliate links and other great things there for you. If you're looking for cards, getting ready for Thunder Junction, all that kind of stuff. 
Um, check those things out. Something there for everyone. And don't forget our socials at me, chat me, stay connected, my friends, because I love to see what you're playing because I love to play your list. Now, with that, we'll see you again soon. Hang on because we got another week ahead of us. And with that, it's going to be magic. <laughs>